He's a 19-year-old college student with sight set on becoming Connecticut's youngest state senator. He is now qualified for the August primary and is now taking his campaign door to door. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis spent some time with him today. 19-year-old Tyler Flanagan may be the youngest candidate running this year in Connecticut. The Yukon political science major has qualified for the primary in the state senate district that includes parts of Middletown and Cromwell, plus all of Newington and Rocky Hill. He's been volunteering in other people's campaigns since he was 14. Some young friends are helping him now, but he admits it's discouraging how many young people don't vote and says it's because there's a lack of education about local politics. It's super popular to treat a tweet about, you know, Trump or Russia or Clinton, and we could yell at each other on Twitter or Facebook all day, but 99% of your day-to-day -day life is decided by the people in Hartford. The local convention-endorsed Republican candidate is 60-year-old Ed Sharamut a local insurance agent who has served on several town boards in Rocky Hill over the past 10 years and currently is minority leader on the all-volunteer town council. We want to support him in any way possible uh, to stay involved and to not make this just uh, a one-shot deal. You just want to beat him. I want to beat him. The seat they are running for is being vacated by the longtime Democratic State Senator Paul Doyle, who's now running for Attorney General. Both Ed and Tyler believe Republicans have a golden opportunity to take control of the state Senate in this election. The Democrats may also have a primary for this competitive state Senate seat. State Representative Tony Guerrero of Rocky Hill may face State Representative Matt Lesser of Middletown. And Tyler Flanagan is not the only youthful candidate for the state Senate. Will Haskell is running a Democrat for a state Senate seat in Fairfield County. From the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.